I'm Rebecca. And I'm Joellen. And today we're going to teach you how to score a tiebreaker. Our last video on how to keep score had over 2 billion views on YouTube. I don't think so. More than all of Justin Bieber's combined. Right, Rebecca. Anyway, let's get back to tiebreakers. Yeah, the Biebs will probably be calling me soon. Maybe taking me to a Lakers game. Are you done yet? Okay. So the first person to win six games wins the set, but you have to win by two games. So if it's six, five, and I win the next game, it's seven, five, and I win the set. Keep dreaming, Joellen. Let's say it was six, five, and I won the next game. It would be six to six, and we would play a tiebreaker to see who wins the set. A tiebreaker is the first player to seven points, but it's a little bit complicated. So let's talk about who serves first in a tiebreak. If Becca served last to get us to six all, then I serve the first point of the tiebreak. And we don't switch sides yet. We stay on the same side of the net that we're already on. Ready? So just like in a game, I serve the first serve from the right side of the hash mark. We call this the deuce side. You get two serves, just like any other point. But for the first serve of a tie break, you only serve for one point. So, I won the first point. From now on, we each serve for two points until the tiebreak is finished. Only the first person serves for one point. Here's where people get confused in tiebreaks. Notice for my first serve, I'm standing to the left of a hash mark. That's because Jolene served from the right, so my serve has to be on the left. It just feels funny because we're all used to serving our first serve from the right. 1-0. That was her point, and it's still my serve. I'll serve from the right side. 1-1. One, one. That was her point, so now it's 1-2. Notice that in tiebreakers, we don't use the normal love 15-30-40 scoring system. We use one, two, three, and so on. We keep playing until someone gets to seven. And like it will be for the whole tie break, my first serve is from the left side. One, two. My point, so it's two, two, or two all. Don't tell Becca, but I'm gonna let her win the next five points so we can get to seven faster and have a shorter video. Two all. I won that point. She served her two points, so the next two are mine. Another way to think of it is we switch serve at every odd total. The score is 3-2, the total is 5, so the serve switches over to me. 3-2. My point again, and the score is 4-2, so we switch sides. We switch whenever the total score is 6. 4 plus 2 equals 6, so we switch. Nice math skills, Becca. It's a gift. Okay, we've switched sides. Here's another confusing area in tie breaks. Remember how each player gets two serves after the first player serves just one? Well, I served one of my serves on that side, so now I get my second on this side. My serve on that side was from the left side, so now on this side, my serve will be from the right. 4-2. Her point, so I'm down 2-5. Even though we changed sides, everything is still the same, so my first serve is on the left side. And like always, you say the server score first. And I want to remind you, I'm giving her these points. 2-5. Okay, she won that point, so now it's 2-6. She needs 7 points to win, so if she wins the next point, she wins the tiebreaker and the set. 2-6.
my point. That's 7-2, so I win the tie break and the set. Good, Good game. But there's one more thing you need to know about tie breaks. You have to win by two points. So if she'd been ahead 6-5 and then won the point, it would be 7-5 and she would win. If I was ahead 6-5 and she won the point, then it'd be 6-6. Six, six. One of us has to win by two, so we keep playing until that happens. If I won the next two, it'd be 8-6 and I'd win, but it could go even longer than that. We hope this video has helped you learn about how to play a tiebreaker. For more information, go to JuniorTennisUSA.com.